Five seconds. I think it's still safe to eat. No. Or is it? Johnny, why don't you tell us what makes food safe to eat in Singapore? At SFA, we have an integrated food safety monitoring system where we actually sample and test food from farm to farm. So this means we take food from the farm as well as through the processing plants and the retail end where food is sold to consumers like you. Wow, so you, you test everything. No, it's not practical to test all the food that we import in Singapore, especially when we import more than 90% of our food. So what we do is we take a science and risk-based approach in our sampling and testing. So this means we establish the different kinds of risks that these kind of foods may have. Hmm. These kind of foods are more likely to contain toxins. So how do I know if they are toxins? So in order to test for toxins, we actually first take these food samples, we weigh them, and then after that we fry and blend them into a powder form. After that, we we'll dissolve them into solutions, and after we get the solution, we we'll inject them into our scientific instrument, and we we'll then process the data in order to identify what might potentially be present in this food. I see. So, so you're able to test whether my my salmon has salmonella. Then... <laughs> Definitely, salmonella is not found in salmon. Oh, it's not. No. Oh, yeah. Salmonella is found in poultry and eggs. Ah, I see. Okay. What what is this? Looks like chicken juice, chicken tuck. Yeah, in a way, actually it's just um, the chicken sample when it arrives. We will pour some selective enrichment broth that helps the salmonella grow and we'll incubate it overnight to give sufficient time for the salmonella to grow in its presence. So after that, we will then conduct um, a screening test to try and find out whether there is salmonella DNA present. And if the screening test comes back positive, we will then take the sample on selective agar that um, oh. selectively helps salmonella grow. So as you can see, uh, on this green agar, salmonella should appear as black colonies over oh, here. So many of them. So this is the scan station machine, and it is basically an automated colony counter. So it helps us to automate the process of counting colonies, which oh. can be very Menial. Certain bacteria, we call them hygiene indicator organisms. Okay. They are typically present in fecal matter or on our skin oh. our cells. So the presence of very high counts of these bacteria indicates that you know maybe certain improper food handling techniques may have occurred. So at the end of the run, um, the machine gives an uh, image of the uh, final plate and as well as the number of colonies that counts. Wow. So this way we can just like read off rather than having to manually count. And these are all the bacteria. Uh, yes. Oh, so the dear. When a lot of people get food poisoning or get sued by this, what does it say do? So in general, Singapore adopts the One Health approach when managing such incidents. And um, such an approach involves a lot of collaboration and communication between multiple agencies. Okay. Um, this is because some outbreaks can be caused by food, but others might not be as well. It involves interviewing affected individuals um, to ask them about their symptoms, their consumption issues in the car, set the premises and make sure that um, there aren't any major food safety lapses. Right, okay, okay. And then you collect the samples yeah. also, right? Yeah. We also collect the okay. samples and environmental swaps, so it will be things like swabbing the utensils or the chopping oh, blocks, okay. things that commonly come into contact with. Wow. And not the also... COVID. Not the COVID. Okay. Well, there are experts to find out whether there's toxins in the food. But if you don't want to LS like me, you know, you gotta prepare your food cleanly, practice good hygiene, and for a food like meat and chicken, you gotta cook it very thoroughly. Alright? Together, let's be safe.